we can start the interview by understanding the meaning of a bad day here good morning and welcome to 102.1 thank you thank you bro How hope you? you're good great Bless. yes Bless. Uh, so what is a bad day there and all the uh, girls are uh, loving it around the world it's, it's subject to your uh, your <laughs> translation you know yeah so what is my translation and what is your translation uh it's just it's just a fun song it's just a happy song a song okay. that gets people vibing and you know mm-hmm. bumping in the clubs and stuff so that's what it's about and okay I, I really like the second verse because it's you know it's a combination of different songs that i really like from africa so that's what it's about mm. yeah. so w- what was that inspiration i'm um, getting the bits and pieces from other songs um you know i always try and do something different something new and you know i'm, I'm always thinking how to do something original you know it's something that i don't think has ever been done before you know using people's different different songs to make a whole verse and you know these are the things that i think about when i'm trying to make music i'm thinking what do the people want to hear or what haven't they heard before and then i proceed to do stuff like this mm. so yeah. did, did you contact the artists who no, songs no. you used no, 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 so no. what does it mean it means that those who have their songs in the selection yeah. they are your favorite is that what it means yes yeah they are, most of them are my favorite oh, okay. all of them are my favorite but there are so many more who i could have added but you know mm-hmm. heavily a finite amount of space mm-hmm. yeah. i see so last year how many songs did you give to the aliens <laughs> wow last year we dropped a lot of songs last year we mm-hmm. dropped we dropped over over 10 songs last year wow and we didn't we didn't push as hard and we dropped a whole album last year as well we didn't push as hard last year because i was traveling a lot and uh you know there was a lot of stuff happening you know Mm -hmm. back and forth so Mm -hmm. but there was a lot of music um coming from the camp of el and uh yeah we're proud of that Okay, so the purpose of the traveling, if the aliens should know, or oh, I mean, they already know. I mean, you know, <laughs> I uh, I have I have various interests um, all over the place. So if it's not music that I'm pursuing, you know, I'm pursuing other other other, other business elsewhere. So. You know, a man must diversify. A man must do different things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, and, yeah. and I believe they all brought some good cash into the account. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's not xylophone cash. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the xylophone yeah. cash will come later. Time, so, yeah. <laughs> After doing all the rounds to all bring other cash, yes. now the xylophone cash will come we'll later. Come now, up. I'm interested in uh, life after winning Artist of the Year from right. the VGMA. Right. Um, do you see a transition from EL to another level? Yeah, yeah, I mean, after you win VGM, I mean, people expect a lot more from you. Okay. You know, people look at you in a different light and they expect you to um, to act a certain kind of way and to give out a certain kind of um, output. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we've been working on on making that happen you know um as a result of that i ended up traveling a lot because you know when you win people are pulling you left right and center they want you on this platform and that platform so i've been happy to perform on some awesome platforms right after um after the the, the pgma um currently i'm still i'm still reeling off the effects you know mm-hmm. it's currently we're still traveling i'm about to do a tour in europe and i'm about to go over to canada and so it's it's a lot of work that comes after you know because then you have to prove why you are the artist of the year and mm-hmm. um, we thank god for the energy that he's given to us to mm-hmm. make all these things happen w- was it pressure knowing very well that you are a studio person you yeah. have to be recording you have to be writing yeah, yeah. even sometimes for artists was it pressure at that yeah. time at that time no because you know we'd been working really hard for it um i had no doubt in my mind that that we were going to be most likely um the winners of their of the award so i try and multitask most of the time i'm a singer writer producer uh i do other things as well and i rap you know i do beats for other people i manage other artists and so it's sometimes a heavy burden you know mm-hmm. but by god's grace we've learned to to balance out okay yeah. now let's talk about the genre of songs el is doing yeah. uh, because sometimes you hear e on some serious hip-hop beats yeah. sometimes he's doing some afro beats sometimes he's doing rap uh, how do we um categorize what you do as el i'm a i'm a musician you know mm-hmm. there's no categorization for good music it's if it affects your soul and it makes you feel good that's what i'm about you know i was just thinking this morning that i shouldn't have to classify myself or put myself in any box and i advise all, all all these bloggers out there and these um people who go online to make out lists to leave me out because <laughs> i'm leave not me out on yeah, what i'm not a rapper i'm not a singer i'm not just a producer i'm all of these things I'm, I'm a very different animal when it comes to music 
um, when I think about music, it's 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 not put in a box. You know, I can't say I'm the rapper and that's it. That's really unfair to the people who have helped me to grow and my hustle. You know, so um, I really don't try and put myself in any category. So all bloggers out there, please, if you're listening, please leave me out of your 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 lists. <laughs> and your list and Why? Your list and when they put you in, does it worry you in any way? Yo, because it feels like I'm being categorized mm-hmm. and I do not mm-hmm. like to be categorized. Like okay. I said earlier, I'm a lover of good music. Mm-hmm. So whenever out there is making, whenever anybody out there is making a, 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 a list of artists especially, who make, Especially when they're talking about rappers. No, no, no. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't put me in there. I do not want to be in there. Honestly, I don't need those props. Uh-huh. If you're making a list mm-hmm. about good music artists, then you can put me in there. But uh, b- besides that, I don't consider myself to be a, a rapper or a singer. I'm just a good music guy. Okay. Now, do you enjoy producing for others now that uh, almost all your hits are your productions? Are yeah. you still enjoying that? Not not as much. You know, there's, there's only a few people who can say, Charlie... And I want some beats, make you do this for me. I beg, and then I'll do it for them. But there's just a few people. I, I I really don't don't produce for people anymore. I've I've been there. I've done that. I've been in the studio. You know, people coming in and out say, "Child, I want this beat that goes like this Davido song." And and it's just a little. It's a lot of work for me sometimes. So I've learned to just keep to myself and make music as and when it's really, 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 really necessary. Mm-hmm. But I do not make beats for others as much as I used to. But um, hopefully this year, I'm going to have more time on my hands to go back to doing that. Okay, so we'll this see. year, you're going to do more songs for others? Probably. Let's let's keep our thing. Are you, are you, are you bringing some business? <laughs> oh, yeah! I know you're, you're going to put, put, put something to me. Let's no, no, it. I can come to the studio. So we'll this way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what I do is, uh-huh. um, if you want me to make a beat for you, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, say, you for have that xylophone money. You for have <laughs> some big cash. Because I will charge you for that if I'm going to sit down and do it. So, that's me. No, but the person is ready to pay. But when you say big cash, it feels you know, like producers, you are, you're already scaring them. Yes, to come yes, to exactly. That means you really want me to make the beat for you. And if I put my mind to it, I've, I've, I've been known to, to make some incredible beats. I mean, I'm not blowing my horn or anything, but mm-hmm. I'm pretty good at production. I've been doing it for over 10 years now. The beat that's playing in the background, I mean, I will put God probably got uh, did this one give me the producer of the year mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah you know so i mean um it's something that i do really well mm-hmm. but i don't do for mm-hmm. everybody so if i go do one man i mean say charlie you know that's some it. good cash you know that let's talk about music videos el yeah. and music videos um people love your quality what yeah. you put out in your music videos thank you what do you consider in coming out with a music video um shock and awe and um directors call the x factor you know some something that people have not seen before so when you're making the song you get some certain images in your head i make sure that i keep those images in my head so that when it comes to the time if we're going to do a music video i tell the director I say i want charlie this and this i want there to be a girl wearing this and this you know i want there to be that from the outfit to the location and everything i really have so many ideas about that so i just try and make sure that people when they watch a video they don't forget it in the next two minutes or the next two hours or two Mm. days two weeks Mm. it's something that's going to stick in your head for a long time Mm. yeah i see now let me take you back a little bit um there was this dramatic song you did maybe um my dj will look for it for me i don't know whether it was called mama you were mentioning after the vgma when people started talking about el this el that you did a song with a mama conversation talk talk don't bother me Uh uh-huh talk don't bother me Uh, what was that concept and who were you addressing and what were you addressing i was just addressing that you know people want me to be um i i I think at that time people were expecting me to um say something concerning a certain issue that was going on between two artists in ghana and they wanted me to i felt like uh i had to give my two cents my 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 10 cents on, on what was going on but i would never give the audience exactly what they want because then it's so obvious that i'll just come and say some stuff and then go away mm-hmm. so i always fashion my um my responses and and my my creativity in a different packaging ear will never give you what you expect mm-hmm. so that was a conversation between me and my mother about um the song 
mm-hmm. um, was an interpretation of a conversation between me and my mother about what was going on in my life and what I wanted to do and what I'm doing, you know. So mm-hmm. it's basically that was what mm-hmm. you yeah. talked about beef and you you told your mom that you don't like beef, you're the only beef yeah, you yeah. like. Are you friends with or or most artists in our industry? Yeah, most artists, yeah. Mm-hmm. Including yeah. who and who? I'm not gonna mention anybody's name on your show, on okay. any on anybody's show. But let's let's say I'm friends with with 90 percent no i mean not friends you know these days friends is a very personal term mm-hmm. i can say i'm on very good terms mm-hmm. with, with 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 a lot of Ghanaian artists some mm-hmm. of them i don't know them mm-hmm. that well and we haven't had an opportunity to to kick it or to hang out together so i can't say i know them but some too we don't really we don't really get along that much and there's there, there's always that situation in a creative environment so yeah mm-hmm. it's not quite one of your friends well, he's an acquaintance. Yes, he's he's a friend of mine. Mm. Yeah. So is he somebody you are likely to do stuff with? Though I believe uh, some yeah, things probably. have happened in the past. Probably in the future. In the future. Okay. You also talked about um, Socrates Safo. Yeah. Uh, was there a special something Socrates Safo was doing at that time that no, you know, no. like? I mean, wh- right after I won the award, he was one of the guys who were um, anti anti ear for um, um, artist of the year, and mm-hmm. uh, I was on a show once, and then right after the 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 award show mm-hmm. VGMAs, he said on radio that if I, I was actually there, he said if if i had brought the award with me he would take it away and give it to some other <laughs> artist and you know it's just a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> it's trash it's trash so yeah, yeah. i get you no, i get you the the so that was a direct message from you to him oh yeah 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 it's i mean it's just something that that happened and i thought it was it was mentionable <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so that was a mistake to soak it up with yeah. it and again the pineapple issue with your hairstyle yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, did that one get to you oh no 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 i enjoyed that so much man i'm i'm i'm, I'm so happy i'm so sad actually that i cut i, I cut my dreads off but i'm growing it again so <laughs> pineapple two <laughs> <laughs> pineapple 2 is coming man oh that, that would be the name man pineapple yeah, yeah, 2 yeah. <laughs> now and yeah it's a bit bigger pineapple so i see yeah now about bb and z i hope yeah. you still with them no i'm not oh I'm you're not. not with them anymore yeah, yeah, since when oh since sometime last year i mean somewhere somewhere mid last year i guess yeah mm. so now yeah. which label is handling el um right now i'm working on um signing with a new record label i'm not gonna give away names right now but i promise you um you'll be the first to know once i'm able to do wow that. so yeah a label based in ghana based in ghana yeah wow yeah. this is big definitely i believe the money in the, the production put the intimate here oh <laughs> if xylophone will take me there <laughs> We can talk. <laughs> People coming to produce for the cut page. <laughs> now a label. Wow. So guys, watch out for some bullion cash yes, in the name of signing EL. Now too many shoes and uh, we will be listening to yeah the ladies they like it tall and long. <laughs> EL are they like so no. <laughs> EL says so says no. soon. Let's talk about Ghanaian event promoters. Are they treating artists right? Because I know you have tasted all the platforms, both internationally and locally. Uh, with treatment meted out to artists we are experienced do you think you guys are being treated right by event promoters i mean i hmm. <laughs> it's a good question man yeah man you know um i think some some do mm-hmm. some don't okay. and uh i think the main the main issue doesn't even have to do just with promoters but everybody who has a platform to promote Ghana music you know I think sometimes we give a lot of preference to people who are not Ghanaian if your agenda is to grow the industry and to help the industry with your resource or whatever you've been blessed with I think you should do that with um, the Ghanaian um, um, winning mentality meant you know that they're, they're, they're pro- like pushing the Ghanaian yeah. agenda first before everything else but I think sometimes we find ourselves doing the opposite of that and mm-hmm. I think in that sense it's not right mm-hmm. but there are a lot of people out there that's not to say that there are not people out there who are pushing and and m- m- making sure that their top priority is um, forwarding the Ghanaian agenda the Ghanaian mm-hmm. entertainment agenda mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. I see now um, about your bar concert for how long mm-hmm. have you been doing it oh four years man four years yeah and um, do you think it is growing or oh or yeah it's growing I mean last year was the it's it's grown from strength to strength when I first started at Alliance Frances there were how many people 
about about you know about 500 people there mm-hmm. and then we went we moved to the world trade center and it was about 800 people there okay. and then bar 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 three was polo club polo courts and there were about thousand people there mm-hmm. and now this year we did the last one um we went back to alliance francis and there were about thousand five to two thousand people there wow. so it just tells me that wow it's it's growing and mind you people say uh concert but let's keep in mind that it's a hip-hop concert and hip-hop is not a really predominant mass following a like mass that. following in ghana so if you're able to get a thousand people to a hip-hop out to a hip-hop concert that says a lot mm-hmm. about how far hip-hop has come in ghana and so it's, it's something i'm very 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 proud okay, of because i remember last year i heard somewhere that you were not giving much information about it as in publicity right. was not on the high yes so yes. i was thinking maybe it affected patronage in any way oh we were really happy do you see the pictures mm-hmm. i mean yeah mm-hmm. last mm-hmm. year last year was the bomb it was crazy and uh, i mean like i said for a hip-hop show mm-hmm. wow it's a blessing i mean I'm, I'm really happy about it it's just uh it's just something that i'm really happy about do you see yourself winning the artist of the year once again um not this year mm-hmm. probably next year yes okay yes. because you know what you're about to put in this year oh yeah of course i mean we plan we plan ahead a lot and okay. uh yesterday some small boy called me i don't know who he is he just called m- calls my phone while I was I was working. I was in the studio, and he said, um, "L, how come you have not released any any music this year?" And I said, "You should wait because um, this year is. I mean, last year he said, and I said, you should wait. This year is gonna be something special. So okay. yeah, wait for it. So last year was more like uh, the preparation for. It was say. more preparatory. Yeah, it was it was it was more you know laying groundwork. A lot happened last year that I haven't put out into the media. Mm-hmm. Um, for example, leaving my label, mm-hmm. you know, um, traveling here and there just mm-hmm. to follow other business interests. Man, okay. sometimes you need a break. Okay. So yeah. All right. So the new one is called what? I have a new one. Yes. Uh, from yes. Uh, Soraya sent me a new one. Nice, what nice, is it called? Nice. It's called Ayeyi. Okay. Okay. And it uh, features um, two two very very talented artists. They mm-hmm. are a pair of twins. They okay. are called um, Dope Nation. So, Dope Nation. Uh, Dope Nation. Yes. Oh yeah, I think I've heard something from them before. You have definitely, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, <laughs> they're amazing, and uh, it features them. It's produced by P. Um, P. P. G. H. P. On the beat. Oh. So is I it, hope is you it P. Wizzle? No, not P. Wizzle. Okay. This one is uh, P. On, uh, P. On the beats. He's, P. On the beats. He's based in New Jersey. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he's oh. the one who produced Coco and the other ones. Oh, and all others. right, yes. all right, all right. Yeah. So this is your first release for 2018. For 2018, yeah, we are giving thanks to and praise to God for mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. how far He's brought us, how far He's about to take us, and ju- just basically, you know, all the blessings. All right. So to the aliens, I know you've been waiting for this 2018. Your man is on fire. He cannot be trapped anymore. He is saying that this is the time to unleash the real him let's do this when we come back maybe i'll invite my panel members in a question and contribution to el and today we are so fortunate to have had him maybe this is his first major interview in 2018 <laughs> i think so this is it yeah this is my first oh, uh, oh wow. phone. Okay. <laughs> yeah. let's do it you come back and wrap up like that <laughs>